Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. Hello Nigerians, it's the political season again. Are we not tired of doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result? Are we not tired of fighting for politicians and attacking each other and destroying each other, bringing all sorts of things at each other just for politicians who call themselves brothers and sisters? Are we just not tired? We only have ourselves. We don't have any other person. If anything happens to you today, you don't have a Nigeria that will be there for you. It is fellow citizens that will be there for you. Yet, constantly, the same politicians that are never there for us, we are always fighting for them. When are we going to stop this? When are we going to learn? When are we going to learn? The fact that you are supporting a candidate is not a reason for that candidate not to be criticized. And you do not have the right to tell people how and when and where and the mode that they will use to criticize a candidate. Anybody that is in the public domain, anybody that is in the public domain is open to criticism. That's why you are in the public. If you don't want to be in the public domain, stay in your house and nobody is going to criticize you. Before 2014, nobody dared to criticize me. You won't come to my house or my office to come and criticize me. But after 2014, what happened? I put myself in the public domain and I'm criticized every day, left, right and center. And it's okay. Whether the person likes to criticize constructively or whatever, I don't even know what we mean by that constructive co Criticism. It's anyhow. Whether a person insult me or do not insult me, is their is their opinion about me. If I'm not angry when people curse me, why should I be? If I'm not angry when people praise me, why should I be angry when people curse me? If I'm not angry when people call me and pray for pray for me and say good things about me, why should I be angry because some people are saying bad things about me or whatever? There there are smear campaigns. If there's no truth in any smear campaign, it will fall off. I've had a lot of lies being told about me, a lot of propaganda, a lot of smear campaign but i've never bothered and it just goes away so what is this thing that citizens are constantly fighting each other for for people who are asking for vote anybody that is asking for your vote is a potential employee that person is saying they want to work for you and you have every right to scrutinize every aspect of that person's way every right because anybody that does not want to be scrutinized anybody that does not want to be uh, criticized anybody that does not want to be checked and rechecked and checked again should not run for office if you're not ready for that don't run if your candidate is not ready for that then tell your candidate to stay out of the way you you cannot shut people up. This is how this madness all starts. You begin to shut people up when they are questioning candidates. When they get into office, you shut them up and tell them that, oh, they just came in. Oh, the last administration. Oh, blah, 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 and all of that. No. Citizens must learn to allow citizens criticize those who are running for public office and those who are in public office. It's their business. Do not shut anybody down. Let people be. Your level of tolerance is different from another person's level of tolerance. You might want to overlook certain things. You really don't care. Certain things don't matter to you. It's okay. There are people whom it matters to. It's also okay. Let people be let them be what is all of this you're just sitting down fighting each other who are you to tell people when to criticize and not to criticize who are you to say that oh you are the only one who has a right to criticize when you deem it is okay to criticize the time you deem is okay to criticize I might not think it's okay to criticize. At the time I deem it's okay to criticize, you might not deem it's okay to criticize. So at the end of the day, let's let this candidates be. Let them be open. Let citizens question them. If they question something that, yes, if it's a smear campaign, it will fall off. There won't be anything substantiating it. Can you just let these things be? Kai!
We cannot be doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. It must be business as usual, no longer business as usual. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nigeria is such a funny country. And you know what? You must give it to our politicians. Uh, they can do anything. They are so desperate. And uh, they, they've gotten it more together than the people. But I'm so glad that right now, Nigerians, a lot of citizens are seeing through their shenanigans and they're understanding uh, how important it is for citizens to take charge uh, of this country. I see a lot of people attacking P2OB and saying that uh, uh, his supporters are this, they are that, they are that. Really? The same supporters that you people trained? These supporters were in APC and PDP. You guys trained them. You guys insulted people. I can I, I can testify to how many insults I've received. And the fact that they are now awakening. They have been emancipated. They, they no longer are in your PDP camp or your APC camp. And they are saying, no, as citizens, we can do this. And some of them, yes, the, the, the way they attack and all of that, they have to unlearn. And it has to be an unlearning process. And I see uh, people who are coming out to say that, oh, Peter Abish should be responsible for all of these uh, uh, online attackers. How many of your online attackers that were attacking people were your principals responsible for? The people who are, who, how many of them, Buari, Atiku, Yemi Osi, Banjo, uh, Nasir, Rufai, called them what? How many of them were responsible for? I know the number of people who called me prostitute, who were in the camp of Yemi Osi, Banjo, who we tag him and everything, in the camp of Atiku, in the camp of, uh, what do you call this one, in, in, in Erufai, in Kaduna, and all of that. Oh, at that moment, they were not responsible. Now, all of a sudden, oh, Peter Abish should be responsible. Come on, people, just, just, just stop that. Anyway, citizens of Nigeria. This is a fight for survival. It's not a anyhow, they say all hand must be on deck. And you must know that those people will fight dirty. They will do all sorts of things and they will do they will do all sorts of things. Anybody who is a candidate, we are holding that person accountable. We are not doing yes or yes ma for anybody. But the truth must be said at, at any time. And we must ensure that as citizens, we do not allow the people who do not want the best for us be the ones to keep the narrative out the way the narrative we go. Shine your eyes, Sue. <laughs> I see many of you shouting, Oh, politics 101. What Bola Ametinibu did? Oh, it's politics 101. That's how to do. No, it's not politics 101. It is wickedness 100. That's what it is. Somebody who knows he's not fit for a job, he's not physically and medically fit for a job, takes on the job just because he can either wrangle his way through or there are people who over the years he has helped and then it is now his turn. It's a sense of entitlement of his turn to now rule. And you're there gleefully laughing and you know, all the permutations and whatever. Your life is being wasted. It's your life and that of your children and your children on board that are going to be wasted all, all our lives. That's what it means. Let me give you an example. I'm 48 years old. I have arthritis. I mean, sickness is something, as you come with age, these are some of the things that you deal with. What I could do eight years ago, I can't do them now. There are things that I could do when I was in my 20s very well. I can't. So just imagine for a moment that because I have certain connections, I've placed people in certain places, then I now say that oh, and it has always been my dream to run for the Olympics. I'll now go and put myself to run for the Olympics because I can, and then I can get my way through there. When there are people who can actually go there and bring in the gold medal, that's exactly what we're doing. And this is what Nigerians have been doing. You keep people who do not care about you. Look at Atiku. Abubakar Atiku, where has he been all this while in your life? He went out, he's chilling. You have people who are chilling in Dubai and chilling in London, coming to be your leaders. You're gleefully. This is the time all the prayers you've been doing, the miracle you asked for, this is the time for that miracle. But no, you would rather put in people who cannot, you can tr truly see that they cannot do, they cannot even deliver on the job that we have. The same thing I was saying. 20, 2014, I was saying the same thing. Why was Buhari running for office? Why didn't he bring somebody else? And today we are here, the same thing again. It's eight years of wickedness, right? All of us will suffer. There's enough evil to go uh, to, uh, around for every one of us. Keep voting in people that are going to destroy your life. <laughs>